So welcome back guys, my name is Amlan and in today's Make Notch Free Campaign, we go about looking at how we can add payment methods for making Google Play purchases. Now if you have been using the Google Play Store and if you are making purchases, you quite obviously know that you are required to use a certain payment method. Now that may be net banking, that may be your credit cards, that may be UPI, but you need to have those payment methods first added to your Play Store. Let's look at how this can be done. First things first, I need to first open up my Play Store. Now, if I'm already logged into my Google account, quite obviously the Google account will reflect for this Play Store. Now, I need to enter the Play Store settings for which I need to tap on this profile image right at the top. From here, I tap on payment and subscriptions. Now, if you see, there are several options here, payment method, subscriptions, budget and history, redeem code. I want to add a payment method. Quite obviously, I need to tap on payment methods. Now, once I tap on payment methods, the payment methods appearing at the top are the ones which have already been added. Now, if you scroll down and if you are doing this for the first time, you will need to add a payment method to your Google account. And for that, you have to use this section. So you can add credit debit cards or maybe net banking or maybe UPI or redeem code. So as soon as you tap on any particular payment method, say for example, I tap on pay with UPI, you will see the UPIs which are commonly used are listed here, like Google Play, Play uh, Phone Pay, HDFC Bank, and all the other things which you see. If the UPI that you use is not reflecting, you again have an option of entering the UPI ID. And once you do this, basically the UPI thing gets added to your like payment method and it gets reflected here. Same is the case with net banking and credit debit cards. Now I have often been told that uh, many people while upgrading to their subscriptions, be it in Google Play Store or maybe Google account storages or other things like uh, Netflix or maybe other video streaming solutions, don't see their payment methods. And it's quite possible that they are doing this on the web. And in the web, I have often seen that adding payment methods don't support a certain type of payment method. Now, when you are doing this through the application and doing this through the payment methods here, I see that this does support UPI, this does support credit debit cards and other things. And now when you go to those applications, maybe it is like the Google One subscription or maybe it's a Netflix subscription. And when you try to use payment methods, you will see the payment methods that you have added to your Google account now will start reflecting there as well. And that's where I think knowing this, I mean, knowing how to add payment methods for your Google account for Google Play purchases can be a real handy thing. So guys, I think that today's tutorial may be pretty useful and helpful for you. If you think it is, kindly consider subscribing and please do share this with your friends and family so that someone who is on the verge of doing such things may be benefited. So that's all from my side. Uh, I will catch you in the next one. Good Sunday and have a great weekend.